You know, last Saturday afternoon, the Texas Longhorns pulled out a miraculous victory over the Arkansas Razorbacks with no time left on the clock. Well, 18 years earlier, those same two teams played what some consider the greatest game in college football history. Right now, let's take a look back to December 1969 and the big shootout. Legends of the Southwest Conference is brought to you by the Jefferson Pilot Companies. Strangers in the night, exchanging glances. Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. 1969 was a year to remember. And for the Southwest Conference, it was the year of the game. On December 6th, the eyes of Texas, Arkansas, and the nation were focused on Fayetteville for the big shootout. I don't know that we'll ever see a game that has seven months of hype building up to it, and the teams fulfill the promise that ABC had hoped for, finishing 1-2 at the end of the season, being the only game to be played in December. After the season's over, every college game is over, but this one. So you're actually playing for a national championship in that ball game. The President of the United States was there, untold number of dignities, and there was a tremendous hype and build up to the ball game because it was the only college game in the nation being played that day. So there were a lot of sets turned on that game. Our players and fans were relieved once the game started and once the week got there. We had two weeks to get ready for, for the wishbone. We put in a new defense that we hadn't used all season surprised the, the Texas team with it, and played a great football game. Arkansas uh, uh, probably played better in the ball game than we did. Our players did have a little something extra, a little something at the right time, and, and uh, they performed at the right time, and we were able to slip out of there with a 15-14 win. play was actually a pass play, and uh, our right tackle, Bob McKay, missed his block, which he'd been missing him all day long, but he said the reason he missed the block is he's afraid I'd throw another interception, but uh, I took off running, and uh, things just went right. Uh, Terry Stewart was their safety. He slips a little bit, so I break out in the open and end up scoring. I was scared somebody's going to catch us from behind. Darrell's great call with fourth and two was the was the key play. I wanted to commit suicide. I think that if I'd been up in the press box, I'd jumped off of it at that time. It was a great contest. It was a super spectators game. And uh, I guess it's one of those games that'll be talked about for a few more years. <laughs>